Hi, Becky. Wow, this is gorgeous and really so much prettier than the first one you did. The light on these palm trees is outstanding from the moon and the clouds and the sky. Looks really good. I've got a couple of thoughts on it. I'm going to first off, we're going to go into effect and look at our color filter. I think you need to tone down these waterfalls and maybe paint them just a little bit differently. Um, the other thing is, and, and this is, you were right, There's it, the, the, where these waves go, and here, here's the tricky thing, it's always dark, darkest right under this little area right here. This is where it needs to be a bit darker. And then you need to bring some light this way, because I'm not sure what happened to our water over here. Let's look at it in front. You need a little bit of light back this way, okay? Now, before I go too much farther, this is fun. I haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, I, meant to, I keep meaning to phone you. Let's run over to, um, oh, let's see. Let's go to images. We'll go to Wyland, W-Y-L-A-N, Wyland Paintings. Let's go Wyland Paintings, okay? He's one of my favorites. He's the... Uh, Wyland and Lawson are the two, two ones. These are all underground. Um, I don't know if he has any above ground ones or if his are all underground. I'm just going to scroll down real quick with you and look. No, let's go Lawson. Let's come up here because Wyland is underground. He actually, I think he actually um, collaborated with, Loss, uh, with Lawson. Lawson, Lawson, see if there's, okay, Hawaiian, you know, tropical, let's try tropical ocean paintings, I want this one, all right, that's what I want, tropical ocean paintings, let's see if I want to show you something, if I can, find someone that painted a waterfall. Let's see one in the background that's helpful. Oh look, there's my painting. Isn't that nice? Huh. What's this one? Um, okay, that's that's not bad. I like the little bit of the beach here. I don't see any of this. Um, do you see how this is curving? See how it's dark right there? That's what I was going to tell you. And then this is shadowed under here. Do you see that? Okay, let's keep going. Find another example. I mean, there's no sense in reinventing the, reinventing the wheel. People have already done this. This is kind of pretty. Um, yeah, here's a waterfall. Okay, so kind of wider at the bottom, maybe not so white. Okay, that's a good one. Let's keep going. Uh, two, 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 two. Well, when you see a group like this, this is. I mean, I I don't think it hurts to do this at all, because you really get a sense of I could think of the names. It's Wyland Lawson. It's another guy. They're the three have famous Hawaiian. Um, let's let's not hit tropical. Let's hit Hawaiian. Um, let's go up here and change this to Hawaiian. H a w a i i a n Hawaiian. Oh, Hawaii ocean paintings. There you go. Let's try that. See if I can get that. I'm gonna more likely to get the pine trees and stuff much more likely to get that than what I wanted. Um, again, you can, depending on it, sometimes you can have some light coming through here. Here's another sunset one, which is kind of nice. Let's keep going. Uh, to do to, um, I like, I like these dark moon, moonlit ones. Now, this is actually very pretty, too, with a little bit of this light blue here, too. But again, there's always this sort of purple. There's these purple shadows that are on the water on the front, you know, where the white is. Let me just come over here and let you look at yours real quick. So you need these purple shadows, you know, almost the same color as this right up here. You need these purple shadows under here. See, I don't think that was the, that wasn't your font. Yeah, that was the one. Okay, let's go back to. All right, let's keep going because you can kind of see it, and it's 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 to a it's to a painting like that. See the purple shadows. Um, see what I mean? I mean, I just you know, there's just kind of a rule. 
but uh, oh, that's pretty. The lighthouse. Get a little distracted here. Okay, let's keep going. I was looking for waterfalls. I may have to just Google that all by itself. That's nice with all the shadows on the beach. That's a good one. Um, of course, when you do paintings, it's just anybody's artwork up here. But I'm looking for the people that just do this for a living. That's what they do is just Hawaiian beach scenes. Um, let's come back up here, and I'm going to type in Trop Hawaii Waterfall Paintings instead of Ocean. Try that. Okay, so because um, I want something with a distant view, like where you are with at night, you know, I guess I could have typed in moonlit ocean side. Okay, here we go. See, that's the waterfalls you want. Those, <laughs> just absolutely, you want them. It's kind of kind of more blue down here, kind of skinny up there, like that. That that's it. Um, this one's not bad, but um, you get the idea, right? Um, okay, so then moving on, though, these are pretty. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Wow, I love that. All right, so, all right, not trying to get distracted in your video. Sorry. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> just sorry. Okay, so now let's go over to Painter and just show you what I'm talking about here. Um, where's Painter? Digital Painter, open. Open Becky Ocean. Okay, so I'm over here in your your painter, right? So all I have to do, let's get a new layer here, and just show you what happens when you do this. Let's get, uh, let's come down here. This is really a wash. This is a glaze thing. You're going to do with this water, okay? It's absolutely going to be a glaze thing. So we're going to do, we're going to take your sky color, maybe that. Yeah. Let's try that, and we're going to put that on the front of this, okay? Because you've got two times a day here, and you've got to kind of watch that. You've got you've got sunlight, and you've got a, a, and a moon, so we got to kind of change the time of the day like that. And we're going to put some of the shadow in here. In here, like that, kind of darken up this corner, kind of glaze this back. Doop -doop 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 -doop. I want a little purpler, maybe into these purple tones. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Try not to have such a ring like a necklace that this is too, um, this is too even. Let's try a little bit of. Let's just tone these back like that. See what happens here. That's nice. See, already better. Yeah, just tone those back. That seems to work. Um, all right. So now, if we do that, kind of, and I think I almost could go with the. I like your blue purple too. Like this, this blue purple tone. See where we are with that. That's just want to put that in there here somewhere, into the water. There you go. Now you've got these going straight down. Now here's the thing. I'm going to do a new layer. Here's the thing. You never want it to curve like this. It's always got to curve over like the top of the letter M. So um, we want to come up here to oil and acrylics. And what you want is you want, let's see, let's do a fairly wide brush and let's get, say, this color. What you want your brush to do is you want the See, where are we? Did, did, we're fine camel. Did I not, whoops, sorry, did I not change the color? Thought I did. All right, so now I'm going to come back here. Just undo that other thing. You want to come, you're wanting to come this way with the brush strokes, okay? Like that. So if you're saying that happened, you want, let's see, let me just bring this down where I can find it. Come here, let's, whoops, sorry. Come on, down here where I can get you. Okay, so I want my water to coming over the top. I want it to, to look like it's curving. Let's change fine camel. Let's talk about what do we got? Oh, uh, real oil filbert. I don't know. What does that do? I've never used this, but all right. So I want this to come over the top here. 
no. All right, let's just do a new layer if you're not going to paint anything. Okay, all right, there we go. I want this to come over the top. See, but make it look more curved. Like that, okay? Give it more of a curve thing. There, all right, let's just back this out, okay? Now, okay, you are in the way. You come over here, okay? And the same thing here. It's a little too straight across here, like that. So let's... I want to bring some stuff over the top. It's probably not that color. Okay. I want to suggest that this is all coming over here. It's a weird little brush. I don't know what it's doing. I'm not sure. Okay, I don't really want that color at all. So, all right, plan B here. Try this. Well, you're just going to change brushes. This is not whatever real oil filbert does. Let's try wet oily brush. What's that going to do? No, nope, don't like that. Let's try this brush, variable tapered camel. How about that? Wow, that's really not it. Okay, I'll go go back to my fine camel. Um, let me get a little closer, and I think I the problem is I've got that brush too big. Let's just let's just make it smaller, and I want some darker in here like this. Just gonna do this and blend some stuff. When all else fails, just blend it out. Okay. There we go. I just want everything to kind of be coming down this way. Okay. So that you've got. Um, and again, we don't want the straight line going across. It's almost straight. Let's come up here to chalk. Square chalk. Okay. I want to bring this up a little higher. A little bit higher here, then it's going to be pulling this way. Just, I just don't want everything so straight. Does that make sense? So you're going to have, um, you hear sounds in the other room. I've got people working. Okay, then let's come over here like this. And bring this lighter right here. I think I really want some purple. Because you've got this purple sky, we almost need some purple in this wave is what we need. So we need a little bit of this purple color in here. Somehow like this. Well, I could be just up here all day fooling around with this. Blend this out. And see what all right. Do we want a little purple color in that? I do like a little purple in there because it brings your um it ties this ocean in. Does that make sense? And um there, let's just pull that down. I want to pull this back to my chalk. Now I want to come over the top here with my chalk, pretty white, like this, and bring some streaks down. But curve them, okay? Curve this down a little bit. And then I want to come over here like this, okay? It suggests where my water is, right? So I've got it kind of, kind of coming around like that. So I still have to explain that. And let's come up with a new layer. Let's pop over here to the digital watercolor. Maybe take this purple color and uh, just kind of glaze that back. You still have it, but it's just kind of glazed back, okay? So that's my main suggestion with this, I think it's really nice. I just want to make sure that you've got this curve more and you could almost, part of me wants to just keep playing with such a pretty picture. Really nice. and I really like what you've got. Um, what do we have here? Let's take um, some dark, dark purpley colors. Put more of a shadow coming out underneath this wave here a little bit. Okay, and then blend that. Okay, all right, I want to blend this a little more too. Blend, 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 blend a little more. All right, well, I hope this is helpful. Let me just, let me just uh,
crop grab that and I'll show you the difference. Also, incidentally, uh, if you've varnished your acrylics, you know, with Liquitex medium and varnish, then the um, paint should not come off with rubbing alcohol. Just a thought. I don't think it will. I meant to tell you that. All right, so this is this is you before and after, okay? Now let's come over here, and I'm just going to do this. Sorry about the phone. I just forgot to turn it off. So here we go. All right. See, see what I'm saying here about a little bit of the purple? And um, bringing a little of that in there. Let me bring this out. Um, and just toning these waterfalls back. See, see what that did? A little bit of light around here. Um, I still think I want to, I like this light on your wa wave right here. I think I would still have that. Um, you still need some white, white right here on the wave. I'm just not sure I want such a straight line going across. Um, that being said, I think it's a beautiful painting. And uh, there you go, huh? Too cool for words, man. You did a great job on this. And I will, listen, dear friend, we will talk on the phone soon. Hope this was helpful.